Good morning, Don Lane. Fraser Valley News, the 9 o'clock newscast on FVN for this Thursday, February the 15th for RetailGuidance.ca, the new provider of retail consultant services in the Fraser Valley, serving the third of a million people who live, work, and play in the Valley. RetailGuidance.ca launching a brand new strategy that allows small business owners an opportunity to implement new, locally developed business solutions including merchandise, multi-store operations, visual display staff, training, store design, and more. You can find them online on the web and on Facebook, retailguidance.ca. A couple of things on the go this morning. Uh, there is a reason why I am wearing a Seattle Seahawks jersey uh, or shirt this morning, and it's not just because the Seahawks take on Green Bay. Uh, we'll get to that in just a minute. The top stories that we have this for you this morning is a couple of sports things. Fraser Valley Bandits of the new CEBL. Their season tickets go on sale uh, today. They'll be playing out of the Abbotsford Center. Out of Prospera Center, uh, the Chilliwack Chiefs are hosting with the IIHF, an international game prior to the World Juniors that will be played in Vancouver and Victoria. That game is December 22nd. Tickets are now on sale. All the details at FraserValleyNewsNetwork.com, FVN, on uh, Facebook, as well as on YouTube and on Instagram and Twitter. Other things. Coquihalla, a new pilot project for truckers, especially at Box Canyon, to stay in the right-hand lane. Do not use the left-hand lane. And uh, this is to make sure, especially with bad weather in the wintertime, to uh, keep things clear, free and clear. And uh, so far, it's getting pretty good results on social media. A lot of positive feedback. Other odds and ends happening today. Layoffs at CN Rail, but that will not affect anyone living and working in Chilliwack or in Abbotsford. So that's good news there. Also, uh, eBus changes to uh, the schedule, and they've only been in service for two weeks to replace Greyhound. They're doing a little bit of tweaking. Uh, the one oddball is that they will only stop in Chilliwack if there is a reservation. All that information up on FEN, FraserValleyNewsNetwork.com, as well as Facebook and Twitter. Now, when it comes to uh, wearing the Seattle Seahawks stuff, i got to do a shout-out to uh, a guy I worked with in Ottawa Radio some 20 years ago. Okay, back in the early 90s. Uh, so a shout-out to Brian Scott. Uh, he was doing mornings at the old Energy 1200 when I was still... Uh, well, it's the only time I ever changed my name in broadcasting. In radio, I was doing middays then. Uh, I was Ron Lane instead of Don Lane. Of course, that quickly devolved to Ron Lane, but that's a totally different story. Uh, Brian has had to retire because of health reasons. Uh, but Brian, a big shout-out from the West Coast... Keep kicking cancer's butt, and uh, a shout out to your lovely wife Deborah. Yes, I I know my Seattle Seahawks lost to the New England Patriots all those years ago in the Super Bowl. Thanks for rubbing it in. But there's a few other names that came up, um, like Len Hayes, Sharon Taylor, Robert W Knight, Marlene Murray, uh, Doug Veronelli, who we just kind of missed each other as I got out there and he came back to Calgary. Uh, Steve Kennedy came in the hitman. Uh, you know, the list goes on. So, uh, Brian, um, you know, cancer is a B-I-T-C-H, we know that, and you've been kicking its butt for a number of years, but you got it. And I know with retirement, that means, gosh darn, you're going to have to sit in your recliner and watch a ton of football. And hopefully one day the Seattle Seahawks will beat your New England Patriots. And you'll notice I'm turning blue holding my breath. So you take care of yourself. And that's pretty much it. That's the morning news run from FVN. Have yourself a great day. It'll be a little on the soggy side, but at least not as windy as the last couple of days. Enjoy your day. Don Lane, Fraser Valley News.